Hi Capricorn, it's me Stormy and welcome to your horoscope for May of 2020 where Capricorn, the word this month I feel like is support. Now your sixth house is actually the house that becomes the house of power. I feel like I said house a hundred times. Um, it becomes the house of power for you this month. Even though we've got retrogrades happening all the way through your sign, the sixth house is pretty important and it is health it is daily routines it is wellness but also there's a component of mental health and wellness that's in there that i think comes from this desire that you're trying to create support you're trying to have support you're trying to be supported in the things that you're doing in your life with all of these planets not only in your sign but also retrograding in your sign this is the season capricorn where i can tell you whatever it has been whatever you've been doing whatever teammates have been and in your life this may be a time where you are going back over it to come back to a new level right this may be your time of evolution because what would have happened over this last two and a half three years as if this saturn energy this plutonian energy now this jupiter energy being over here as well would have said capricorn we need to step it up right? Like we need to come to the next level, which doesn't mean that you're broken Capricorn. It just means it's time to advance. Many of you were having slash are having your return. Some of you are going to have some more return, right? So it may be passing over planets that you have again, but either way, the idea that I have for you this month just feels like you're looking for support while you're changing and while you're transforming. So let's walk through this month and see what's going on and see how you can get all of that done and what else your mind is maybe being brought to. Okay. Right at the beginning of the month on the 7th, we're going to have a full moon in the energy of Scorpio. I just freaking love this. I freaking love this because this is the 11th house for you. This is friends. This is social groupings. This is all things online. And we have been zooming our eyeballs off, have we not, or being on um platforms of social media of some variety. But this is also about long range plans and goals. So with the full moon happening in that house, the full moon brings the action of, we need to end something. We need to acknowledge something, Capricorn, or we need to make an adjustment here, right? Something's got to shift in this area. And we're going to do that in Scorpio qualities. So this is going to say, in this 11th house of support, of people, of organizations, of your plans, what is your deepest desire in this area? Do you desire to have friends or have you been Capricorn kind of keeping people off to the side, keeping organizations off to the side, keeping new information or new plans off to the side because maybe you were unsure for some reason or the other? Or did you have an abundance of friends and they don't all belong here, right? What's your deepest desire for this area of your life? And also, what are you struggling with that maybe is keeping you from having this area of your life be really, really full? The other thing I just, it's coming through really clear in terms of support this month, Capricorn, is prayer and meditation. Whatever that looks like for you, if you don't have a slowed down life where you can connect and you can reground, I feel like moving through the rest of the day and this transformation will be really challenging. So that's something that came through. If that was for you, let me know in the comment section down below, please, okay? All right, so this full moon is going to bring your attention to these desires and what you would like to have this be. Over the next four weeks, you'll get to see maybe where the power struggle is or how to fulfill the desire that you do want in this area because ultimately you are looking for support in the 11th house. And you're also looking to lend some support as well. You take who you are and you give it to the whole, right? 11th house living. <clears throat> On the 11th this month, it's a busy day. We're going to see Mercury moving into the energy of Gemini, where he's in domicile and rulership, so very happy over there. But we're also going to see Saturn, your ruling planet, taking a retrograde, beginning in the energy of Aquarius, but also stepping back to 25 degrees of your sign, Capricorn. Now, this Mercury moving into Gemini, he's happy, he's doing his thing, the world is right over here. But it is lighting up your sixth house space. This is the house of health wellness, mental health and well-being. It's also the house of your work or your job, especially if you own your own business or company or you do something freelance. This is your co-workers you're interacting with. Mundane things that you do every day. What's the daily routine? All of these things fall into the sixth house. So Mercury here is your daily routines could be busy right? You've got a lot going on. You're having a lot of conversations. You're making a fair amount of decisions. People are emailing. There's calling. There's all of these things going on, but it could be busy. Now, the negative part that I see to that that I want to make you very, very mindful is that it could also stimulate the brain. 
you're thinking, 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 overthinking, and making yourself physically exhausted. So I want you to pay attention to that this month. Communicate what you need. Be interested in learning something else. Be curious about how you can improve this area of your life or how you can really be in the swing of things, in the flow with this area of your life, and the information is sure to come to you. Now, as Saturn takes this retrograde, like I said, he's going to begin it in Aquarius, but then step back into your sign. What he's doing here is as he stepped into Aquarius Capricorn, he has said, uh-huh, I see you and we need to get serious about this money. I see you and we need to get serious about this self-worth situation that we've got going on. How are we making money? Hey, we've got skills. I want to be serious about this so that I can help you set a solid foundation to grow from, to stand on from this arena. So you've started to see the influence of that already from March all the way until now. Now, as Saturn continues back into your sign, you've been working on these changes for two and a half, three years already. You're not going to be surprised at what he's coming back to show you and ask you to review, to evaluate your connections with other people, to connect, to evaluate your connection with who you are, how you're showing up in the world. For some reason, I keep thinking to Capricorns with some of you, it might be like you're, you're evaluating the body right? The, the sixth house is so heavy this month. Are you evaluating the body? Are you taking care of your physical body? But Saturn's going to ask you to look very serious back over these areas and reevaluate if the foundation has been made firm enough for you to stand on. The 13th is also a busy day. So all in that same week, there's going to be a lot going on. Just know that as we get to that week of where the 11th and the 13th are part of that, okay? On the 13th, we're going to see Mars stepping into the energy of Pisces, and then we're also going to see Venus stepping into her retrograde in Gemini. Now, as Venus does this retrograde, she's going to start out at 21 degrees of Gemini, and she will end it June 25th at 5 degrees of Gemini. So identify those areas on your chart so you can see how this retrograde is really working towards your greatest good, okay? Now, Mars and Pisces over here, Mars is lighting up your third house, okay? <clears throat> so this is about communication, but I also feel like this is about some documentation. There may be some documentation, a contract, the schedule. I keep seeing the schedule. The sixth house is very much so it's structured. There's daily routines. Maybe your schedule is different. Oh, okay. Okay. So in the Gemini energy, what could be happening for you here with this astrology Capricorn is that you are working. You're communicating. You have to be a part of a schedule. You have to be a part of a plan. We do some planning in the third house, but you have to do it really differently than you were going to be doing it before. As Venus retrogrades, this is going to be at the tip top of your chart in terms of um, another influence we look at. Let me be clear there. The actual retrograde is going to happen in your sixth house in the energy of Gemini, but because Venus rules your midheaven or your career energy, we'll also see a shift to the career. That's how I made that assessment. So in it, maybe you're doing your career differently than you did before. In Pisces, maybe you're having to be less indirect in your work or you're not able to confront something head on. Um, this is, is certainly a time where maybe your communication is the most powerful thing that you have and your action is not as powerful. So certainly I would look at a change in how you're communicating or even a change and be careful if you've got documents, if you're setting up a new schedule, if you're doing anything that you're committing yourself to with this Mars and Pisces, just make sure that you have all the facts. Pisces is not always the best at getting all the details and all the facts, so make sure you ask all the questions that you can. And if this changes the style in which you have to work, you have to be a little bit more indirect or a little bit more passive, just know that that may be the game plan for the month, okay? As we are looking at this Venus retrograde itself in the energy of Gemini, one of the things I think of in the sixth house is does your daily routine have value? Venus wants to look back at value. She wants to look at is this valuable? She also wants to look at are we getting our needs met? So in your daily routine, does your daily routine meet the value and the needs of your health, your wellness, your business, right? If it does not during this Venus retrograde, it will become abundantly apparent to you that this is not going to work is the way that you're working adding value to your daily routine does your daily routine support your business these could be questions that you're asking during this time now of course during a venus retrograde venus loves to bring back old lovers or old relationships or financial things so if they do come back up to your table they're asking for your review 
They're asking for you to take responsibility for them. They're asking for you to make sure that there is value in what you're doing, that you're not just the only person in the relationship, that there is a two-sided deal here. Because remember, you're looking for support this month as you're changing and you're growing Capricorn. So you've got to have things in your life that support and nourish your value as well as make sure that your needs are met as well. With Venus retrograde here in the sixth house, if you do own your own business, I will say that um, money doesn't stop. It's not like it stops, but it, you may find that it very much so slows down or the work slows down or maybe because you've had to slow down in some way, shape or form, it'll change the way or the timing and how money is coming in. So I just want to make you mindful of that, okay? On the 14th, Jupiter is going to take a retrograde and Jupiter will begin the retrograde at 27 degrees of Capricorn and end it at 18 degrees of Capricorn. Now this is going to be in your sign. So as Jupiter shows up in retrograde, what he asks us to do is to make an honest assessment and evaluation of our strengths and our weaknesses for you in the first house. It's what are the honest strengths and weaknesses of you as a person and how you're showing up in the world and how you think about yourself. Because where Jupiter's here, we tend to be overconfident. We want the world to think that we're really something. It's very, it can be very inflated and what it lacks is a little bit of wisdom, right? So I feel like Jupiter is the ultimate right sizing energy. Where do you need help? Where do you need training? Where do you need guidance in order to be the very best version of you, Capricorn? There is zero percent shame in asking to be taught um, how to come to the next level. This is too because this is about the body. Maybe your body's expanding in some way, shape, or form. Make sure you're taking care of your health, okay? On the 20th, we're going to welcome the sun into the energy of Gemini. On the 22nd, we're going to welcome in a new moon in the energy of Gemini. And back on the 7th, I'm just going to mention this to you, or the 17th, excuse me. On the 17th, Mercury is going to move into the same position that Venus is in, where it's called out of bounds. So as Mercury is moving out of bounds, and then we have these moon-sun situations going on, remember that you're going to be looking for answers to your daily routine, to your health care, to your wellness outside of your normal circles. And sometimes for you, Capricorn, it's just outside of your normal realm of thinking. So be very open minded and know that you can have a fresh start. You can start a new health and wellness routine. You can start a new daily routine in your life, um, but you can't do it with the same mind and the same plan that got you in the position that you're already in, right? Do you know what I'm saying? Like you have to have something outside of your bounds to add some wisdom to the content that you're usually using to create and um, solidify these areas of your life. So get the support that you need. Ask for the help at this new moon and be willing to study or to speak or to investigate other ways of doing things. Now, as we close out the month, we're going to see Mercury moving into the energy of Cancer, which is just right across the street in the seventh house. So all throughout June, the seventh house is going to become a house of power. There's going to be um, all kinds of good things happening in your relationship life as we get into the June, July time frame, but it really kicks off here. Mercury in the energy of Cancer is you're willing to connect emotionally. And I will tell you with Venus retrograde, if you have a company, you have a partner, you have a friend, you have a plant that will not connect with you emotionally, I think in May, in June is when you go, I'm not willing to do this. I don't want to do this this way. I need support. I need to be supported. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, Mercury and Cancer also shows you in your family how you've got to make decisions, right? But how do you empower and support your family, your relationships with your family um, without taking on all of the responsibility yourself? You're the go-to, you're the hustler, but not everything's fully your responsibility, Capricorn. So I think that as the emotions get involved here with Mercury and we're able to have some clarity to them, it also helps you make some different decisions in your relationships that are really about having healthy communication, about having... Um, communication that is also supporting and uplifting. So I think it's going to be an interesting month for you. I look forward to seeing how things um, pan out for you. And I'm getting some feedback here about back back or body pain. So if that's you, please take it easy this month. Do what you need to do to take care of that sciatic or just maybe it's not even sciatic. It's just I keep hearing back. It's just back pain. So take care of that area of the body if that's you. And please let me know if that's you in the comment section down below.
All right, Capricorns, I hope this month you will join us, not just this month, but further on, for all of the Eat and Greet collaborations that are coming up. So far, we've had Nadia Shah, Brian Coulter, um, Shireen Vishmaya has been here, Patrick Arundel is on the way, Terrence Gardino, Gemini Brett. Gosh, just people are lining up and saying yes to come talk to us. And not only are we going to talk about topics, but we're going to teach some skills and techniques as well. So I absolutely hope to see you um, on these collaborations. All right, Capricorn, like these videos, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye, Cap.